Help! Help us! Someone! What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition unaccompanied. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizzards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fended them off. Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job. What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. 
A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business, literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. Hmm. So you came here to find a piece of a still? Mean this thing? Yes! Where did you find it? Bottom of the pool of a hot spring. Really hit it well, your father. Your pay. It is not much, I know. But I promise you good prices. The best thing once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers. They've rounded up some thugs. They mean to attack me. We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence? That they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you my only hope. Kill them. Elsewise, they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? Not about to start cutting folk down because of a family squabble about some spare bit of machinery. We're going over there, and you're gonna settle this, talk it out. But. Should they attack, you will protect me, will you not? If they attack, unprovoked. Let's go. Hugo! Are you well? We were worried! Why do I doubt this? Listen, while you were in there, we realized this Tiff is... Senseless, idiotic. You might have been harmed gravely, and that's something we could never live down. Lucian is right. We must bury this hatchet, work together as father wished it. Hmm. Claim to come in peace. But then who are these men? Hunters, who had made camp nearby. They spotted us and asked if we had no need for their aid. You went in, were gone a long time. With his men to help, we thought we might come to your rescue. All right, glad to see you've made up. Now I really need to get back to my own affairs. Naturally. Your payment. We thank you for your help. Should you ever find yourself near the clever clogs, you must stop in. Superb, Cognac. Some of the best. Will do. So long. Lads, I find your concern touching, I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal. A great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. 
I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. My guards lament, which, uh, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them. Save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. Well, there's also Clarissa who... Vilmar, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh... Likenesses. A parasist of what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me, and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Seems I got the plan, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper for you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact.
map says there's some panthers around here. Hunting. Stay close. Hunting. Keep your eyes peeled and like a bear. But one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. No! What are you doing? An excellent day for capturing moments. Hear that? Deer, I think. Incredible. Sharp as a razor, you're hearing. hear a thing. Clearly your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant. You freed her. A superb image. <laughs> Folk call witches heartless. This will put the light in us. No, 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 not like that. What have you done? <laughs> She had young! Didn't intend to, believe me. Was worried about your safety. That's why you hired me, isn't it? Uh, I suppose you're right. Let's move on. But this time, be more cautious, please! Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous, with all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I am only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? See that? Soil's been turned over recently. Smells of fresh peat, too. Shh. Hear him. It's those... Um... Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. How about here? I, I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no view whatsoever. Mm. Fine. We'll keep looking. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad, either. Yes. This will work perfectly. Can 
Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Magnificent that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... My daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Oh, 
This'll be a masterpiece! Smile, please! Help! Watch out! Giant centipedes! But you killed them already! Clearly not all. Get back! Was, that was tense. I, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. An excellent day for capturing... What a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. Some of your shenanigans proved a little unnerving. Yet I still consider the day a success. <laughs> Seems even witches have a sense of humor. Do something deranged at times. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, I'm a wild and crazy guy. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See ya. Give this man some wine! Hey there! Wild. Sunlight captured. Do you really wish Leave to be in peace, Witcher? Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. They praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. <laughs>